huh? Yeah, we're going to be at Schumer's tomorrow. Well, it's uh, actually uh, the primary demand is to pass the pot bill. We'd like to put it in the budget reconciliation because then it would pass for sure. The Ibogaine is kind of like a consolation prize because there's a group of people who are blocking marijuana legalization in the Senate citing the opiate crisis. We think it's disingenuous to cite the opiate crisis for two reasons. One, every place they've legalized pot, opiate deaths fell. Two, we have Ibogaine. If they were sincere, they'd legalize Ibogaine. Ibogaine is an African rainforest a psychedelic drug that gets people off of heroin overnight. In the very beginning, people noticed that if they were like uh, using heroin and they were addicted to heroin, that 30 minutes after they took Ibogaine, with the withdrawal went away. But it didn't go away, away taking another opiate. It's not a taper. Ibogaine abolishes withdrawal. Ibogaine abolishes craving. Ibogaine also works for crystal meth, which is a big problem in the gay community. And that's the reason the ACT UP meth group is back again. But it's um, really fucked up of Gene Shaheen to say that somehow pot is causing hard drugs. They've been trying to arrest potheads to stop hard drugs for 50 years now. Did it ever stop it? Did put a lot of people in prison for pot, but pot is, you know, like basically a medicine. Because back in 1967, they were looking around for drugs like LSD. There was an LSD scare, and they added three drugs to the list bufotenin, DMT, and ibogaine. It was a supplementary. Uh, oh, 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 sorry. Registration. They put in a federal registration. It was a supplementary registration after they had already uh, uh, banned LSD and mushrooms and a lot of other stuff. And really, it was just that it got you, they, in their mind, it got you high. That was enough. They didn't know what it did. They didn't know that it had this effect. Well, some people knew, but uh, we didn't get a chance to defend ourselves.